lot of work to see We're after the same Rainbows and Waiting round the bed system, you need to understand the constantly changing positions of the Earth, Moon, and Sun. In this diagram, the Sun is much too close, so we will pull the Sun back 93 million miles or 150 million kilometers. Even so, light still reaches the Earth from the Sun. When these rays strike the side of the earth, they only light one side. The other side is in darkness. As the moon slowly orbits the earth, shouldn't the moon also be lit on only one side? Here is how the earth and moon would appear from distant space, while the moon would look like this from space, we on Earth would see a moon from a much different angle. Here is how the moon would appear when seen from the Earth. The lit side of the moon is turned toward the sun, while the unlit side is turned toward the Earth. This phase of the moon is called the new moon. In this phase, less than 1% of the part of the moon that we see is lit by the sun. The remaining part is lit by the stars and light reflecting from the earth. The moon continues to orbit the earth. Upon reaching this position, we see more of the lit side of the moon. We use two terms to describe this moon phase. The moon is said to be waxing. The Urban Dictionary defines waxing poetic as becoming more romantic. In this case, waxing just means more light. As you can see, the light area does appear to be getting bigger when compared to the new moon. After waxing, the second term is crescent. The moon is shaped like a croissant roll or a crescent wrench. As the moon moves on, it will eventually reach this point. This is one quarter of the way around the Earth. This moon is called the first quarter. The first quarter occurs when the sun, earth, and moon are at right angles to each other. This moon can be identified by the straight line that can be drawn along one side of the moon. The moon marches on until it reaches this point. Here we can see more than half of the lit side of the moon and this surface appears to be growing from night to night. 
we say that this phase is waxing, just like the waxing crescent. The second part of this moon's name is gibbous. Gibbous is a Latin word that means hunchback. You can see in this picture of Disney's hunchback of Notre Dame that his hunch might have the shape of a gibbous moon. The journey of the moon carries it to its most beautiful phase. This is the full moon. We can see the entire lit side of the moon. In this phase, the sun, earth, and moon are in a straight line, with the Earth in the center. In this diagram, the Moon is closer to the Earth than it actually is. You might think that the Moon would fall in the Earth's shadows at least once a month. However, this doesn't happen often. There is a lunar eclipse when the Earth does fall into the Earth's shadow. Here's how it looks. The moon continues its journey. Since the moon has shown us all of its lit side, the lit side must decrease from night to night. When the moon moves to this location, we say that the light is waning. That is a word that is still sometimes used today and means getting smaller. This moon is waning. Still, we see more than half of the lit side. So, the moon remains gibbous. We call this moon the waning gibbous. Notice that the lit side of the moon is now on the left. When the lit side is on the left side, the amount of light that the moon is reflecting to the earth is decreasing. Now the moon reaches this point in its journey. The moon has completed three-fourths of its orbit. We call this moon the third quarter or the last quarter. This moon also makes a right angle with the line segments running from the moon to the earth and from the earth to the moon. And a straight line can be drawn down one side of the moon, the third quarter moon. As the moon moves to this location in its orbit, the moon enters its last phase. This phase is waning because we can see less light and the moon is crescent in shape. This is the waning crescent moon. The moon then moves to this location. We have a new moon again. This completes the lunar cycle, one of many cycles that you will study in science.